So iOS 18 was just announced and from this announcement, we can expect three improvements coming to the AirPods Pro Gen 2. I'm going to give you a brief overview about these new features and also give you my own take about them, especially about one of them which leaves me scratching my head. Now, as soon as the update rolls out, I will be testing these features on public beta. So get subscribed if you don't want to miss my hands-on first impressions of these new features. But these are the key features coming to the AirPods Pro Gen 2 through iOS 18. First, Siri interactions on the AirPods Pro 2 lets you use the head tracking sensors in the earbuds for more than just tracking spatial audio objects. You can now nod your head to answer phone calls when Siri notifies you or shake your head to reject the call. Sounds familiar, I know, because this is something that Sony implemented on the Sony WF-1000XM5 not too long ago. Coincidence? I don't think so. They probably thought it was a great idea and implemented it on the AirPods Pro 2. I did wish though that it would also let me shake my head to stop Siri from reading out the full freaking name of my contacts every single time. And the app that my contacts are texting me from. Nonetheless, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Number two, voice isolation for the AirPods Pro 2 cancels background noise for clearer calls heard on the other side of the line. Now, I am a little puzzled by this one because I'm under the impression that iOS 17 already has voice isolation mode and the AirPods Pro already has its own background noise reduction. So how is this different then? Will it be better than what we have now on iOS 17? And will we possibly see better call quality in general than what we already have from the AirPods Pro 2, which will propel it to the best call quality earbuds of 2024? We'll see. On iOS 18, personalized spatial audio will come to mobile games as well, not just for music or movies in selected apps anymore. But as I understand it, not all games, only selected ones because developers did have to develop or program that personalized spatial audio experience into the games through the new API. For now, only Need for Speed Mobile has been announced for it, but I wish it could have been for all gaming apps because it would have been more immersive to get that spatial audio experience instead of regular stereo for all these games. So these are the three updates AirPods Pro 2 will receive through iOS 18. Not gonna lie, this does sound a lot more like an incremental upgrade to the UX instead of anything say game changing. But this does mean that I'll have to test it to get a better sense of how much of an improvement this update actually is. So get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified for my hands-on first impressions. I also post updates on X, so do follow me there and click here to find out which are the best earbuds for phone calls.